So in Google Earth, I've got this uh, very interesting backyard. There's this irrigation canal that goes up uh, through some empty fields here and some interesting shapes on it. And rather than just fly out there, I thought I would plan a couple of shots using Google Earth. So the first shot I was looking at was this particular angle on this curb of the irrigation canal. I went ahead and framed it and said, okay, that looks good. I'll fly there. So I recorded the uh, latitude and longitude and the altitude uh, from, uh, from Google Earth and applied it to Litchi. And then I thought this one looked kind of cool too. This is a uh, what I'm calling shot two is kind of a neat uh, perspective on the canal. And the, the same thing here. I, I gathered the altitude from Google Earth and the latitude and longitude and programmed it into Litchi. So now I've built this mission into Litchi Mission Hub with a relatively simple six uh, waypoint mission. I'll go ahead and depart from home here out into the field. We'll go at a reasonable speed to each of these points to, to end up at uh, waypoint three which I'm using a, uh, a heading of 148 degrees and then um, plotting a picture uh, with gimbal movements to tilt the camera uh, up to 60 degrees as you can see here and take a photo after each gimbal tilt hoping to catch that perfect angle um, during the shoot. Then we'll move on to waypoint four and I'm using a point of interest here rather than the um, uh, manual gimbal pitch and it will um, focus it at 35 degrees down and then I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, do the same thing. We'll take a picture at 35 and then we'll go ahead and move it to different camera angles and see if we can't pick up the, the perfect um, angle to, to get that uh, um, shot duplicated that I envisioned in Google Earth. Lastly we'll move up to waypoint 5. Uh, I use uh, Litchi's panorama preset here which go ahead and goes ahead and rotates the camera through 360 degrees taking a photo at appropriate points so you can build a panorama in either uh, Adobe Photoshop or some other software. So let's go ahead and run the mission. So here the mission is running. We're just leaving the home point now at about 18 to 20 miles per hour. <clears throat> I'm monitoring the uh, Litchi's uh, voice command feedback, which is very nice. I like to hear it. I, um, I like to hear all three just to remind me what's going on. Um, we'll stop at this first waypoint. Like I said, I like to hear all three, which is altitude, velocity, and um, speed. And uh, it, it's just uh, convenient for me to hear everything that's going on. 204 feet altitude, 2,080 feet distance, 24 miles per hour, 92% battery. Okay, so now we're coming up on waypoint three. The uh, quad is going to stop here for a period of time and it's going to rotate through about seven images uh, at different camera angles. So here we are sliding into waypoint four. We're going to pause here for a few moments to look at uh, point of interest number one and then rotate through those various gimbal, camera gimbal angles that we've programmed from about 20 degrees to 60 degrees. And then we'll move on. So this is the final image from shot one um, using Litchi Mission Planner to shoot an automated image of what I had envisioned in Google Earth. Um, this is the image that I shot manually by flying out to the same position in the same altitude and then adjusting it for uh, minute changes or things that I thought looked a little bit better and shooting a five, dot josh, a five shot HDR image. Um, one of the things I found is that Litchi wouldn't command the Phantom to shoot multiple images with different um, EV ratings on them so I could create an HDR image. Um, I think what probably would be better is to shoot um, an HDR image in uh, it, manually than to perhaps shoot with Litchi. It just uh, um, doesn't give you the fine control and trying to shotgun a shot here as you see with Litchi. This is the best one that I picked from a shot of five but trying to um, shoot this, the subtleties of trying to get this canal to come in at the upper right angle and 
the upper right corner and leave in the lower left corner along with this cross street road to uh, uh, intersect the way that it does was a little more subtle than what Litchi could do by using Mission Planner. So it's a nice image, it's okay, um, but uh, uh, in this particular case, I think manually flying the mission was a better uh, choice. Dude. So here we are scooting down to shot number two. Miles per hour. Um, this is a second manual, battery. not Litchi mission, but just a, uh, I'm using the Litchi app in FPV mode. Um, and I'm flying down to the uh, power lines. You can see there just below me. And then we're going to rotate around here and try to get shot two. Um, we may get shot two manually. I, I found it's just much easier uh, and much more precise to frame your shots manually. Um, to automate this is just too precise at this point, at least with my skills. And I find that uh, I altitude. want to bracket this just right with uh, uh, automated exposure bracketing or automatic hour. exposure bracketing um, or AEB mode in, on the Phantom. And also in, in this particular case, I'm shooting just HDR, uh, which I found was reasonable on the Phantom. So uh, I'll include this just after this flight altitude. and you can see what, uh, what I've come up with and hopefully this is be profitable for you. Miles per hour.